cyberpunk series started as a tabletop RPG in the 1980s and has since gone through several iterations of its dystopian world of socio-economic collapse and evil mega-corporations. A dash of Blade Runner with hints of Mad Max, the series got major attention in 2019 when the video game trailer for Cyberpunk 2077 dropped at E3. And Keanu Reeves, no stranger to the cyberpunk genre, stars as Johnny Silverhand, whose digital ghost guides you throughout the game. Wake the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Alright, so what does this all have to do with cocktails? Well, the game developers just released 20 minutes of gameplay footage, which included a scene at the bar called The Afterlife. More on that later. And it's here that we get introduced to a drink called the Johnny Silverhand. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Tonight City. And the afterlife. Ha <laughs> ha! This drink gives us some more insight into the lore of its namesake, and also why the bar is called The Afterlife. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid would be best. <sighs> what a beautiful tradition. All right, so now we know where the drink comes from, let's give it a taste. We're gonna make a tequila old-fashioned with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. To do that, I'm gonna start with a nice tequila here. This is an extra Añejo. And because I'm a fan of beer cocktails, I'm gonna make another version of the Johnny Silverhand after we make the one from the game. All right, we don't see the bartender in the game using a mixing glass or a shaker, so we're just gonna assume she builds it in the glass. So grab a rocks glass with ice and your tequila, we're going to start with 2 ounces or 60 mils. And like any good old-fashioned, we need some bitters. So I'm going to hit this with about 3 dashes of Angostura bitters, but this is really to taste. Next, we need our sweetener. I'm going to take a cue from the Oaxaca old-fashioned recipe and use agave syrup as the sweetener here. Just about 1 bar spoon. Again, this is to taste, but I wouldn't go much more than this, otherwise it'll be too sweet. And then when you're done, give that a stir to chill and dilute it. I'm gonna round out the classic tequila old-fashioned cocktail spec with a bit of an orange twist, just going to express the oils over the top of the drink. And then I'll discard the peel because we've already got our garnish covered. And now we need our splash of cerveza. The implication here is that this is a Mexican beer, so I'm gonna go with a Pacifico, one of my favorites. Crack that open and just drop in a splash, maybe an ounce or 30 mils. Then we need our chili garnish, and they don't specify which type of chili, so I'm just going to go with jalapeno here and garnish this as you like. You could just drop it in there, but I'm going to slice a little bit down the center and stick it on the rim of the glass. Now wake the fuck up, samurai, because we got a cocktail to drink. Oof, terrible. Cyberpunk! Alright, let's give this a taste. Watch your eyes with that chili garnish. And this is actually pretty tasty. It's kind of what you would expect, more of a watered-down, old-fashioned with tequila. The cerveza definitely makes it go down easier, but I wouldn't say this is a very complex cocktail. But this beer and tequila is just screaming for some citrus. Figured I'd make a version that maybe Johnny can sip on after a long day of boxing on the rooftop. So who's in? Me! Okay, so we're gonna start with tequila again. This time we're gonna use Blanco tequila, one ounce or 30 mils into a shaker. And for that chili flavor, I'm gonna use Ancho Reyes, which is a chili liqueur, which is smoky, spicy, and a little sweet. We're gonna add in one half ounce or 15 mils into the glass. For some sour notes, we're gonna go straight to some fresh lemon juice, one half ounce or 15 mils. And for a touch more sweetness, we're going back to the agave nectar, one fourth ounce or about seven mils. Now this is optional, but for tequila drinks, I really like adding a few drops of celery bitters, which gives a nice vegetal flavor. And for our heat, I'm just gonna do one hit of this fire water tincture from Scrappies. And then to cool this down, we're gonna shake with ice for about 15 seconds or so. You're gonna want this drink to be nice and cold. Grab a frosty beer glass, and I'm gonna give this a rim of tahine. Alternatively, you could just use salt here. Just rub some lemon on it and dab it in the salt. All right, throw a few ice cubes into that mug and then double strain your cocktail mixture into the glass. 
Now we're just gonna top it with our Mexican beer. This is to taste, but I'm shooting for about four ounces or 120 mils here. Give that a quick stir to get everything mixed into the beer, and we can't forget about that chili garnish. Throw that on there as well. All right, the modified Johnny Silverhand cocktail. How is it? Breathtaking. Yeah, this is excellent. The tequila still shines through here, and it's not too sweet, nicely balanced with the lemon. If you like beer cocktails on a hot summer day, give this one a shot. So I'm really excited to be sponsored by Bright Cellars for this video. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription that's great for finding new and unique wines based on your taste preferences. This is great for me personally because sometimes I struggle to have a good vocabulary for how to describe the wines I like. I know what I like, but I'm not always sure why I like them. But Bright Cellars actually has this pretty clever and fun way to help me out here through this seven question quiz that helps gather my taste preferences and then delivers me wines that I'm pretty much guaranteed to like. After filling out the quiz, they sent me a six bottle box right to my door, which included this cab right here. Let's give it a taste. And I love how each box comes with these wine education cards that outline the tasting notes, suggested pairings, best serving temperature, and origin. And this Washington cab was rich, full-bodied, and delicious. Right now, Bright Cellars is giving all of my subscribers 50% off their first six-bottle box. Just follow the link in the description to take the quiz and get started. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. Fine, but we're raising the stakes. Fair. See no problem with that. Saul, so, can, can we, we get, get started? started? Show me what you got. 